What's up, y'all? So, my little man had to go stay with his mom tonight. It's her night. She can have him tonight, which means I get to come in here and finish off what I was trying to do. So, I'm going to go through a couple of different images that you'll see uh, to put on this armrest that I want to use to cover up this section that he cracked by stepping on it constantly. And so, I don't know which one to go with. I'll show you those, those images right now. And we'll narrow one down and then we will press it using my buddy paper. I'm so excited. Like, I mean, I keep talking about my paper because I'm proud of it and, 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 it, and it's vibrant and it's colorful. It's, it's everything to me. And I hope that when you guys get some in your hands, you enjoy it as much as I do. So we're going to use that to press this armrest right now. So these are the images I'm working with. All right. So I've got a handful of images here. Obviously, I want something that's uh, that's Puerto Rican based right and so here are a few images i like the one before this one i really love this one this is the one i might just go with but let me show you there is also this one that has a the combination of you know three different flags um i like that one a lot uh, there's also this one now you know in puerto rico we're big on cockfighting chicken roosters you know that kind of cockfighting don't be a pervert and um then there's this one. This is uh, for the, you know, uh, Taino Indian, which is what, what, you know, Puerto Ricans originally are, right? We're all Indian of some sort. But I'm going to go with this one. Uh, let me go ahead and hit print here, and let's print this one. All right, so that's the image that I chose. Let's go ahead and press that, and then we're going to run down to the car. We're going to you know what's funny? Is I, I didn't even check to see if it fit the armrest in the section. Actually, let me take that back. Because when I was shopping for these sublimation uh, armrest pieces... Uh, these guys right here, I had to put in the make of my car, and it said that it's this guy right here. I will leave a link below if you want to make some armrests, um, and let me know, because my paper comes out in a few weeks, but I do have some samples. Uh, if you'd like to order some from me, I can send you a few. Just pay shipping and handling or something like that, and I'll get you a few. You can try it until I, I get the, uh, the, the bulk order in, and, um, and see what your colors come out like. I'm excited to see what my paper looks like on your product, so... Let's go ahead and press this right now, and uh, I only got one. It's got to work. After we press it, we'll run down there and see if it fits. If it doesn't, then hey, I'll send it to somebody who's Puerto Rican. All right, here it is. I have some 11 by 17s left. Big chunk of it. Big chunk of it. I have one more pack of these also. So we have enough to send people some samples and for me to continue to use it until my bulk order comes in in a couple of weeks from now. I also have some 8.5 by 11s over there if somebody wants any. So we're going to use this guy right now and uh, get this image on there. We're going to grab us a sheet of this 11 by 17. Uh, let's see, baby. Oh, just, just the fact that it's mine with my name on there, right? So um, you'll notice that there's a smooth side. And there's the rough side, which is the side you're going to want to print on. So let's go ahead and take it over to my ET15 bowel right there and uh, press it. Or excuse me, print it. All right, we're going to crack this guy open, measure it. I, I haven't even done that yet. So let me get my ruler really quick. My handy dandy ruler. My handy dandy. Handy dandy ruler. All right. It's my T ruler. I love this thing. So we're going to crack this thing open. I'm so excited to actually press this. I've never done one of these before. The cool thing about sublimation, man, is that, I mean, yeah, you're limited limited sometimes to the polyester, whatnot, um, ordeal. But, I mean, just what you can do with it is so fun and amazing. Um, and look, I mean, who, who would have thought? I'm doing an armrest, right? Which, uh... Which is really cool. I mean, you, you, you can do a lot of custom stuff. You can sell a lot of custom stuff with sublimation. Not just cups and, that you see people doing and not just shirts and whatnot. I mean, there are so many little accessories that you can sub to and um, and, and build a career off of, believe it or not. But anyway, um, we're going to measure this as I was doing. So I know I want this thing to be. So it's 12 inches, right? So I know I have 12 inches. 12 inches. Um, it's 12, well, actually it should go this way, but uh, it'll be seven, 7 and 3 quarters by 12. But when I'm printing this, of course I want to uh, I want my image to be a little bit bigger than that. I'm not worried about the uh, any ink getting on this black. It's dark enough that it won't even affect it any. So I'm probably going to go maybe 12 and 12 and 3 eighths or something like that. Um, you know, and 7, maybe even 8. So uh, let's see what that looks like. 
I'm excited. How about you? All right, there it goes. It's starting to print. I can't wait to see this image pop out so I can show you how colorful this thing is just when it comes out. Well, that's over there printing. I'm gonna grab myself some parchment paper. This is what I wanna lay down. I wanna lay this on my press because I don't want that ink. I don't want the ink to uh, to get on my press at all. Uh, what's holding this up? Oh, a cut. Get this here, parchment paper. Right, right. Um, this is what I like to do. I have a sheet of Teflon. It's the first sheet covering, right? Then what I'll do is I'll go and add this nice thick parchment over the top. That's gonna give me some reassurance that my ink is not gonna bleed through to uh, to that bottom piece there. I would hate to have ink stuck on that. So let's get that parchment paper, it's nice and hot. The settings that I'm going to be using to do this, 395 for 16 seconds at a medium pressure. Ooh yeah, it's getting closer. Come on baby, print me them nice, beautiful, vibrant colors. Now when I say this, I'm being very, very humble. But I want to start getting mentioned in them conversations where they talk about that ink release on paper. I picked a very great, great, great vendor for my paper. Nobody has this person but me. And my paper is fired right off the printer. So mention me in the conversation to where they're talking about how vibrant, how colorful it comes out right off the printer. Because let me show you. Yo, we're vibrant and colorful right off the printer. Come on now, baby, that buddy paper. I can't wait to get it in your hands. Let's press it. Yo, in my most humble opinion, and I look, and I'm being very humble. Uh, um, I mean, I, I'm not, and, and look, I'm not trying to be biased. I just know that I picked an amazing, amazing paper, an amazing vendor. I'm telling you, like, he he paid attention to exactly what I wanted. Um, and look, I'm telling you, I'm I'm vibrant and colorful right off the printer. So imagine what that's gonna look like when I press this. I'm telling you, I'm not trying to say that it's better than everybody else. I'm just ready to compete with whoever out there wants it, the buddy paper. And look, just because I said I'm ready to compete with anybody else out there, don't come for me. And if you get mad, look, don't get mad, get motivated. I'm coming for mine, and I'm telling you, I'm, I'm about to hang with the best of them, I kid you not. Anyway, let's get back to pressing this. All right, so that is the image that we printed, right? Here is our armrest. I know it's gonna fit perfectly, right? Check this out. So, I mean, I'll, I'll straighten it out in a sec here, but I know that I have enough room for everything on this image to fit perfectly. <laughs> oh my God. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is put some tape on here just to make sure that, that paper doesn't slide when I press it. So uh, we'll get some heat tape. Let me straighten this thing out. I know I wanted about right there. All right, that's a little short. And it's stuck on my finger because I'm using one hand. God dang it. Don't you hate when that happens? For those that sub, ah, get off, get off. All right, let's just get another piece of tape. Here we go, a much longer one. Bam, stick him right there. Get off my finger. Um, I have clear tape, which I prefer to use so it doesn't leave uh, any any doo-doo behind from that from that tape but um i don't know where i put that clear tape at so right now we're just using what i got using not juicing that was so so spanish so latin of me you juicing we're using all right so there we go um maybe a couple more in the corner and the corner up here all right sorry if i'm boring you with watching me tape this down but for those who have never subbed, who are interested in subbing, this is part of the process. All right. I think we're good. I might be over taping this thing, but who cares? And voila. There we go. Yo, no lie right now. I'm so, I'm so, okay. It's two emotions. I'm nervous, but I'm excited to see what this looks like when it comes out because I'm not gonna, look, if, if it works, if it doesn't, I'm gonna show you, and this is the only armrest that I have. It has to work. I've never pressed to one before, so, or sub to one. And um, if I fail, you'll see that I failed too. And I'm still gonna stick it on my cart. But let's stick it on the press. All right, you don't necessarily have to see my face, right? Anyway, so here is, here is that there. 
thing we're going to press. I think we're gonna come out looking really nice here. So like I said, I like to put, you know, I like to have my my two pieces of my, my Teflon and my thick parchment uh, over the press. And the beautiful thing about my paper, like a couple of other papers out there, one of the things that I wanted, I wanted to make for sure that I didn't have to so much worry about having butcher paper over the top. So you don't need any butcher paper for my paper at all either. Um, oh God, here we go. And I hope I don't make a fool out of myself. <laughs> here we go. All right, y'all. Now the countdown begins. Whew. Oh, dang. Here we go. Oh, ho, ho, ho. here we go. I hope you guys can see this. Oh, here we go. Take that tape off the back, it's a little hot. Can you guys see this? All right. Okay, guys. Oh, let's get closer. There it is. I got every single bit of that image in there. Man, and it is fire. It is fire. <laughs> right? So look at that detail. Look how colorful that is. I am so excited. Let's go put it on my car now. Before I go put it in the car, I forgot to I got forgot to mention. I want to be mentioned in that ink release conversation. I'm telling you, like, I was able to get a lot of ink release out of that. I'm, I'm so excited, man. Like, oh, Lord. Let's go. Guys, I'm sure that you can not only see, but maybe even feel my excitement. Um, how excited I am for this armrest. It is so dope. Like I said, it's so vibrant. I keep saying that and so colorful. Because I'm, I'm in like, I'm in awe of being able to, to brand my own paper. To say it's mine, right? Uh, I invested in, in 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 my own paper, and yeah, there are plenty of other companies that have paper, but there's no better feeling than knowing it's yours, right? That you took the time to research and find the the, the right vendors or or whatnot. And I really and I and I've mentioned that several times. As I seriously took my time, I could have dropped the first, you know, the first time I found the first vendor that said, "Here's some paper," you know. But no, I I mean, I got samples after samples after samples. And it's not cheap to get samples from overseas, but I knew that if I'm gonna do this, I gotta do it right, because there are a lot of other great companies out there that have some great paper. I want to be mentioned amongst those greats. And I say this all the time, and I mean this with, with so much respect, is that I have to give credit to, you know, to several to several people, but one of them, especially being my boy E from Garment Creations, um, he has a sublimation paper, and he gave me so much push, you know, um, so so much encouragement you know to just go through with it um knowing that he has a paper and like i always say and i mean this from the bottom of my heart if i ever run out get his paper there are plenty of other paper papers that i can mention as well but you know who they are um but if i had to mention another person another paper that's my printer making that noise i didn't fart it was the printer going not me in case you heard that but um craft and besties she is another person that just motivates that motivates plenty of people around her and motivated me to really pursue this this avenue. Anyway, enough of me talking about that. Let's go put this on or in my car. It's dark outside, but I'll turn the light on in the car. Let's go. All right, y'all. Let's get some uh, some, some my, my, let's get my Crocs on. Grab my car keys. Let's go put this on. Whew, still hot out here. You know. California weather, I'll tell you, it is no joke right now being in the 104, 102. What the hell is 104 weather for? Y'all like, man, this guy be shooting some crazy content. He, he look, he don't, he don't, he doesn't just focus on the product. He's out here talking about the weather, walking through the apartment complex and making content out of it. You know what? No, I'm keeping it real because this is really what it is, right? So let me, uh, let's go put it in right now. Uh, I think someone's blocking my car. Let's see. 
My neighbors probably think I'm crazy. Oh, security. Hmm. What's security want? He don't want none of this. Okay. Hold on. Let's see. Oh, now he's moving. Don't run now. Don't run now. You was over here parked by my car. Let me help you with something. Let me help you. Let me get you an armrest. Okay, guys. So, here goes my car. Let's see. Okay. So, hold on. Let's, let's, let's. Okay, guys, here goes my car. Let's open this thing. Oh, my baby. My baby. Let's see. Hold on. Um, Don't mind my son's mess in the middle because he'd be jacking my car up. Capri Suns and stuff. So, this is where we're going to cover. Right? Let's give it a shot. Okay, so I got us a little bit more light. Lighting isn't that good. But again, look, I'd rather keep it real with my content than a bunch of like, you know, Pretty lights and things I don't have, even though that is kind of cool. But anyway, so remember, we're gonna put this guy on this here arm rest. Let's get closer to it. Let me see if I can get you in here without it falling. Uh, hang on. All right, so I put it on there. I put it on there. I mean, look, it's nighttime, but you already know. I showed you what it looks like inside the house and what it's gonna look like tomorrow. I'll take a picture of, but it's on there. Boop simple as that strap it in right there these little straps and you're good to go all right so that concludes the armrest guys all right let's walk back in the house um i'd be taking you guys on some crazy little journeys right this ain't like some typical content of someone trying to push a product it's just the way that i shoot because i just like to you know shoot about what my my, my actual life is and what it's actually like Right? Like, I, I want to give you the real stuff. I don't want to just always edit and be like, well, you know, here's this little pretty part. And here's this sales piece. And nah, this is what it is like uh, on, on my the regular life. Right? This is what it's like behind the scenes. There is no behind the scenes. I'm giving you what it is. So let's go back upstairs and finish this off. All right. So now that I'm back inside, guys. <laughs> it's a t-shirt buddy and it's the the buddy paper that was that ink release you know it's pretty great pretty good stuff that was the arm breast came out vibrant colorful like i said and um i'm really hoping that you guys enjoy it when it comes out i'm going to continue to push a lot more of this buddy paper because it's what i love to do right socks and things like that and i want to i want to show you just how great this paper is and um give you another option if there's no other paper out there that you can find that you like, give mine an opportunity. With that being said, thank you guys for watching. On that note, your boy and the buddy paper are out. Mm -hmm.